It's me, Andrea, and I hope that you guys are having a great day wherever you guys are at. Today, we are going to be trying out some new, well, new to me, new foundation, new powder, liquid blush by Makeup Revolution. I am going to try out their Super Dewy Skin Tint, Tinted Moisturizer. And yeah, we're going to try it out and see how it goes. I also am going to try out their Super Dewy Liquid Blush. Now, I think that this is like the same collection i passed by target like their makeup section and uh, i found these products that are new to me and i also found this revolution translucent um loose setting powders so if you have not yet subscribed to my channel i would really appreciate if you do subscribe to my channel i mostly do makeup content that is affordable comment down below what you guys want me to try out give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it let's get on with the makeup review because i'm very excited to try out all these products and see how it goes i already moisturized my face i don't really use primer so I'm going to try it without primer, um, that's just how I use it. If you want to use primer, then go ahead. So I'm going to try out the Super Dewy Tinted Moisturizer. And this is the shade Medium Light, so hopefully it matches me. I feel like it's too dark, I don't know. Well, mm, well my arm is pretty tan, so it might match. So it comes in a pump. It is um, vegan and cruelty free. It says it's lightweight tinted moisturizer. It gives the skin a radiant dewy finish enriched with wild berry extract. So hopefully it doesn't have a scent to it and hopefully it doesn't break me out because my skin is very sensitive. It recently broke out, it's still healing a little bit. There is a couple of shades from Fair to Mocha. So here are the shades. So there is light all the way down to mocha here it is a pretty deep um it's a pretty deep shade but i will say that it is not a lot to choose from they could do better ulta's website it's 3.1 stars so it's not the best rating i will say that uh the pros are lightweight heavy bulky cover just enough has improved the texture of my skin has the right shade for my skin so i'm reading this right here on ulta's website and it says the cons it says drying patchy bad smell non-existent it is not dewy at all it's chalky okay well I guess we'll see. It better not look horrible on my skin. Okay, so the next product I'm gonna show you. The Dewy uh, Liquid Blush. Flushing for you is the shade. It does have a squeezy tube. So that's cool, I guess. Um, right now it's on sale for $4.20. Um, they have pretty good selection right there. So this has a 4.2 rating, so that's better than the foundation. 90% would recommend this product to a friend. So it says, pros, it's pigmented and there is no cons. So this is pretty promising. So I'm excited to try out that. I don't really use liquid blush. Like I've tried, the closest I've tried to liquid blush was the Super Shock Cheeks. And that's not really a liquid blush, but um, I guess this is the first time that I'm actually trying out a liquid blush. So next we have is the translucent loose setting powder. And it claims that it's talc free and there's no flashback and it's water resistant. So we have to try that out. The shade translucent. Oh my god, I can't say translucent. 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 <sighs> Guys, I'm having a hard time recording this video. Why am I, I keep stuttering and oh my gosh, I can't talk. I couldn't find it on Ulta's website, so um, it's probably there. I just don't want to take the time to look. So there is translucent, medium beige and medium pink and medium yellow. This is what the Target website looks like, um, but if that's like the selection they have, they do not have 
that many um, variety for different skin tones so they need to fix that reviews on target so it has a 3.6 out of 5 it's not that good some people would not recommend this and there's some um, pictures of people saying that it's patchy oh my god that's not good well we're, we're starting off not good so yes <laughs> so what did i even say the price of this oh my god i am all over the place today this was 11 bucks all right so let's try it out hopefully i like it because you know when i don't like something i will tell you up front let's get started with the foundation all right so foundation let's see how the consistency is it's like in the middle it's not like too thick not too runny it's right there in the middle it's not like going anywhere i think it could work put my hair back let's start off with a brush first i'm going to use i'm going to use the profusion multi-use brush so it's just like a little paddle brush this is the only brush that i really like the rest of the brushes like regular makeup brushes i don't really like because they like put streaks and you know what i'm not gonna lie it's kind of burning oh uh oh not off to a good start so let's use the brush first It's not gonna give you the best coverage obviously because it's a tinted moisturizer like duh like not supposed to give you like that much coverage and I don't really mind it as long as it looks nice you know like doesn't look at least like if it looks if it makes your skin look like smooth I'll put more I don't really mind okay so here's how it looks like with the brush It's not streaky or anything, except for this part because I didn't really blend it out. Now, I like to use a brush if I want like a really sheer coverage because I know it takes away some coverage. For me, it takes away some coverage if I use this brush. Okay, I looked in the bathroom. It's not bad. So I'm going to try to do a natural look um, today since it's a tinted moisturizer. So no concealer or nothing. It's just going to be simple. Here it is. So this is the brush side. This is the sponge side. So I actually think this has more coverage with the brush. As you can see the redness is still here and I have more fuller coverage here. So it looks looks pretty good on this side. I'm gonna put more. I don't wanna put too much. Actually, I'm going to go back to the brush and then I'm going to use a sponge over it just to take off any excess. Being too bad, it looks like a tinted moisturizer. Compared to the one I just tried, I tried a tinted moisturizer recently, which was the LA Girl one. Um, comparing this one to, to that one, um, I feel like it looks way better. Here's how it actually looks like. It's okay. It's not the best. It is kind of making my cheeks a little bit red. It's fine. All right, let's 
move on to the translucent powder. Something I'm very scared of doing. It's starting to get like a little bit cakey or it's not even honestly it's not even building up so i'm just gonna leave like this it is a tinted moisturizer I keep saying that because it is you know i'm not gonna be you know acting like it's supposed to be something like full coverage or anything and if it looks nice with the powder then i'll be happy with it if it looks like crap then i will you know say it let's just move on to the powder here so there's a tab that comes off the powder should be coming from here oh i just went everywhere so here's like the powder i don't know how you tap it out does it just come out i think you go like this oh no This went all over my leg. Oh my god. Come on. Oh my god. This is. I don't know if I did it wrong, but what the heck? Alright, we're gonna use our sponge. Hold on. Pause for a minute. Let's try out the liquid blush. Ooh, that looks very white. Okay. Don't mind the, the powder right now. We're going to try out the blush first. I'm going to put some on my palette. So it's a little bit... It's not runny. It's kind of thick. Alright, I'm going to use a little bit, like, a little tap. Ooh, that was a lot. Smell like something? No, it's weird. All right, there's the blush. It's cute, it's cute. Just to also tap it on the nose. The nose? Why did I say like, oh my god. Guys, I am all over the place today. <laughs> I like this. So it's like this little subtle blush. You can add more, definitely. You can like put it as much as you want. But I think it's cute. It's a cute little shade. Very, It's very natural. I like it. It has a little glow to it. Yeah, I think those blushes are nice so far. Let's see how long it lasts. Uh, should I put more on? Let me put more on this side. So you can definitely build it up. I like this blush. It's cute. It's very natural. Really nice color. Um, I have nothing bad to say about it. We'll see how long it lasts, and we'll see how it looks like underneath the powder. Okay, let's let's put it on. I'm gonna do one side okay that's a lot um I'm gonna do one side with this powder on and the other side with my regular powder to see if if it um does a difference I found my first problem do you see that there's like a patch it just stayed there. Oh. Okay. Um. I'm using my regular powder. Ooh, I like this one way better now. I'm probably biased, but. But it looks way better. Look at this. It brings color. This one is, you know, it does have color, but I feel like it even doesn't cover the, the blush, you know? The good thing I don't, I don't think I have to go anywhere today. So we're just gonna, I don't like that patch. 
that patch is bugging me so bad. This side by side. Close up a little bit. So, um, you can see it, definitely. This, okay, so I use the CoverGirl Clean Professional Powder. This is this side with my regular powder right here. Look up up close. Definitely more smoother. I see the blush more. This side is supposed to be translucent, which I don't understand. Now, I could be wrong. Please let me know if I'm wrong. But I know that translucent is supposed to be like uh, translucent, like uh, the name says it. Um, this is not translucent. This look, makes my face look white and how is this not supposed to give off flashback? Now, this on my forehead, I don't know what happened here, but it's like a patch. And I know that people in the reviews said that it does look patchy and I could kind of see it. There's patches everywhere and you can tell the difference. This one is, it does have color, but translucent is not supposed to unless the foundation is pale for me but i don't i see this more white and i do have another patch here it's a little weird i will say that so there it is there is my face As i will say um, foundation wise it doesn't look bad with the powder I you know you typically use the blush looks pretty on this side especially in real life you could see it more on camera it's a little bit yeah there you go on camera it's a little bit like when the lights are on it kind of makes it look. but even in real life you know it looks white so Ugh. powder i'm not really liking so far blush i really like foundation we have to see because with this powder it doesn't look bad so yeah that's how things are looking like right now and i'll be right back i'm not gonna do anything too crazy um just something really natural and we'll see how it looks and then i'll take some pictures with the flash and see if there's any flashback i'll probably embarrass myself right now but it's all for it's all for the review guys i want you guys to spend your money wisely so i'll be right back okay, so i am back just did something quick my eyebrows probably very sloppy um i did my uh, mascara and i put some lip gloss and i did put a little bit of bronzer a little bit just to hide that patch so i will show you guys close how it looks so here's how the foundation looks setting spray and everything so I'm not minding this side. This side I really like with the powder that I always use. This side looks white to me. It's translucent so I would think that it would be sheer. It's leaving a white cast and it looks kind of patchy and dry. But this side looks pretty good. The blush is still on. This one you can barely see it. So here it is. Here's how it looks. Station wise we would have to see powder i'm not really liking um let's take a picture and see if there's no flashback okay not my best picture but here's how it looks so as you can see there is a white cast on my face i think the powder just has like a white cast because even without flash you could see that white cast a different color i don't know if it would be different but i got translucent just because i didn't want it to change the color of anything now thinking about it probably maybe i should have got color but anyways that i already did that decision so um yeah the powder just itself it looks kind of patchy like i said there's a patch on my forehead you still kind of see it it looks dry and patchy 
compared to this uh, side of my face where I have like the regular powder that I always use and it looks kind of smooth it looks pretty smooth I don't know if the foundation and the powder are not mixing well which is kind of weird because of the same brand so it's a little strange so yeah we'll see how it wears throughout the day so right now it is 12 10 so I will wear this for like a couple of hours try to wear it till the end of the day see how it lasts and stuff I'll be back um, in a bit and we'll see how it looks see if I like this foundation so it's currently 244 and this foundation feels very dry it's kind of settling in my nose area kind of gross the side of my face doesn't look bad as bad as this side just looks really patchy and dry um, I saw that patch on my forehead overall I think it's the powder that is making my um, foundation look horrible um, because the foundation itself with this powder doesn't look too bad but I'm gonna keep wearing it for like maybe like two more hours and then I'll check back in to see how it goes but so far I don't really like the powder it looks pretty bad so Ooh. looking like a fail to me oh so here's how everything looks up close here is the powder up close if you want to see. It's just really patchy. It's gathering weird. It feels really dry and it's about 4 o'clock right now. This is how it looks like with the powder that I use on a daily basis. Uh, it's not that bad with the powder I used. I'm um, sorry, I barbecue chips. So it just looks patchy and just like weird. Um, you can kind of see the blush on this side, by the way, but I kind of keep trying it out because I do like how pigmented it was. It's a really nice color. It looks really natural. You know, it's not it's not hard to blend out. So um, for the powder, I say skip out on it. It's not worth your money. And the foundation, I still got to try it out. It's not too bad. It's a really natural finish. But I will say I don't see a lot of dewiness showing up. I feel like I needed more dewy. So maybe I could put like a dewy primer or a dewy setting spray to just make that glow come out. But the powder is just not it. It's very really patchy and dry and just not worth your money. So just skip out on the powder. It looked like a mess. It's hot. It's hot today. So anyways, if you like like sheer foundation, if you like tinted moisturizers, I say try it out if you want. And especially because it's on sale right now, I think, in different places. Well, in Ulta, it's on sale, I think, for like $7.20. I'm not sure if it's flashback. I don't think it is because even without the flash, it looks white. So yeah, I just think that it's just really, really white, even though it claims it's translucent, but it's like... Unless if translucent has a white cast, let me know in the comments down below. I don't know, but um, I could be wrong. Final verdict on the stuff I tried out. It's not too bad. I like the blush. I will try it out more. Foundation needs a little bit more dewiness to it. Maybe it needs a dewy primer or whatever. I'll try that out more. And yeah, it's overall not a bad foundation. Way better than the one that I tried out last time for Melee Girl. But powder sucks so just letting you know it's just not good don't buy it that is my review on the la from the la girl that is my review on the revolution um foundation and also the blush and powder so i hope that you guys enjoyed this video it's a very short quick little video here let me know what other foundations you want me to try out down below any other makeup product let me know down below like i'll try it out anyways give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it make sure to subscribe down below it doesn't hurt to subscribe if, especially if you enjoy you know drugstore makeup finds don't forget to subscribe so i wanted to say thank you for all of the comments on my recent video of drastic 
the Jurassic World collaboration and all your suggestions. I really appreciate it. And I'm so glad that that video did well. So let's keep it going. So if you enjoy my videos, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe down below. Comment. Comment down below. Just say hi or if you have any suggestions on what you want me to try out next or what you want me to do next on my channel. So I will see you guys in another video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.